Hey guys, I am so glad you're here. Welcome to the Heroic U Series 2.0. And today what we're going to do is a 35 minute strong lower body. We are really working on slowing things down and strengthening those legs and glutes. We're gonna have a lot of fun doing it. Now today I am really focused on that strength. So I want you to try to pick some of your heavier weights to really push that strength today. So I've got my 20, 25 and 35 pound dumbbells and I am really going to work on strength. Now we're gonna work on three rounds of an activity, a little bit shorter duration, so just that 30 seconds, so that we can really focus on some strength and you might only be able to do one round on that heavier weight and then come down, but that's gonna work on so much more strength and I really want you to have that focus. Also, I'm gonna be using an elevated surface for two of the activities. If you don't have that, that's okay. You're still gonna get a great workout, but if you do have a chair, or the couch, a bench, something like that, let's grab that. And then don't forget your sweat towel, your drink, and of course your great attitude. Let's get this thing rocking. Okay, so hopefully you had a chance to grab your dumbbells and your great attitude. <laughs> so let's get warmed up. Let's start with just some squats. Coming down and up. Doesn't need to be deep yet. We'll get that going in just a few minutes. <laughs> Let's go down and up, making sure you're driving those hips back, keeping that chest nice and upright. We've got three more, two more, last one. This time we're gonna squat and we're gonna lunge. We're gonna squat and we're gonna lunge. Start opening up those hips a little bit. We're gonna do one more on each side. We're gonna squat, we're gonna lunge, we're gonna squat, we're gonna lunge. And then we're gonna come down and we're gonna touch down and we're gonna squat and press those hips up. Start gliding those hamstrings. Ooh, yeah, so wake up, you gotta move today. We've got three more, two more. Last one, hang low. Let's do some trunk rotation right here. Okay, get that thoracic spine moving. That opens up that low back a little bit. Oh, baby, three, two, last one. Now, right here, you're gonna do Push that back up and then arch that back down. A little bit of movement in that low back, down and up. We've got three, two, last one. Now go down low and open up those hips. Oh yeah, feeling so good. We've got three more, two more. Last one, here we go. We're gonna hinge down and back. So you're gonna go keep those hips straight, those knees straight. You're gliding through those hips, driving it down, pushing that up. Okay, again, moving the hamstrings, making sure they're gliding. We've got three more, two more. Last one, this time take that right leg, come down and hinge, just that right side. Woo, yeah, three, two, last one, other side. Hinge down, drive it forward, three, two, last one. Okay, we're going down to the mat. Let's go right down into quadruped. Okay, we're gonna take those, that foot and we're gonna drive it towards the ceiling and really squeeze that glute. Okay, we wanna activate that baby. Okay, so we want some mobility, but we also want nice good activation. Three, two, last one. Go out to the side, right there. We've got three, two, Last one, other side. Drive that right up towards that ceiling and really squeeze that glute. Three, two, last one out to the side and squeeze. Oh yeah. Three, two, last one. Take that leg out there. Let's go down and up. Get some internal and external rotation and then hang low and pop that foot. Oh yeah. Three, two, Last one, other side, hinge down and back. Three, two, last one. Hang low, pop that foot up and down. And then back, we're gonna go into plank. We're gonna take that right foot, go right to the outside of that leg and we're gonna straighten and glide. That low lunge, we've got three, two. Staying low, rotate and back, three, Two, last one, step to the other side. Here we go, down and straighten. Oh yeah, three, 
two. Last one, hang low, rotate right here. Three, two, last one. Bring that all the way up. Let's finish with a couple of big old hip circles. And hip circles the other way. Oh yeah, feels so good. Okay, so let's talk about what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a front squat first. That means we're gonna take that weight, we're gonna have the front of our chest. It's gonna wanna draw us forward. That's where you use that core, okay? And we're gonna sit back and keep that chest upright. The limiting factor many times is your core strength. So drop down as you need to. Start with a heavier weight and listen to your body. Oh man, ooh yeah, <laughs> I am going heavy. Here we go in three, two, one. We're squatting down and up. You notice today is slow. You know it's only working for 30 seconds. Okay, I want the heavier weight and a little bit slower. Now, if you go, I don't have heavy weight, then you can do a few more reps than me, okay? That's okay. But you wanna try, if you can, having some days where you just try to put that weight on there. Okay, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Yes, two more sets. Can you do it? Here we go. Three, two, one, sit down. Drive, nice tall trunk. Drive those hips back, sit over those heels, press through those heels. Okay, now I'm a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. That's a little bit more comfortable. Okay, so I always start with about shoulder width. Some people are a little more comfortable, a little more narrow, some are a little more comfortable, a little wider depending on their anatomy. That's okay, listen to your body. Okay, we got five, four, three, two, one and rest. Okay, we got one more set like this. Drop the weight if you need to, or finish strong. Here we go, three, two, one, down, and up. Keep that core engaged, nice and controlled. Okay, slowing it down, and control. Fifteen more seconds. Oh yeah. Woo, baby, come on. Stay strong all the way to the end. We got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh my word, yes. <laughs> See, I'm pushing myself too. Just getting up there was hard. Okay, we're doing deadlift next. Okay, so not Romanian, so you don't have to have your knee straight. You're taking that weight, you're hinging through that hip, nice neutral spine and you're driving it all the way down like you're gonna shave those legs and you're driving it back. Remember, you're not rounding. If it's pulling on your low back, drop that weight. You need to have less weight. Your trunk can't hold it, okay? Pay attention. Here we go, deadlift is next. Oh baby, in three, two, one. Here we go, down, drive it up. Again, you do not have to have your knees straight, but your weight has to stay close and your spine has to be nice and neutral. 15 more seconds. Nice and controlled. Oh yeah, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we got another set. Roll those shoulders back, make sure you get a nice good positioning. Here we go, three, two, one, hinge down and drive it forward. Nice and controlled. Oh man, work it that hard. Come on, you got this. 10 more seconds. We got five, four, three, two, one. And rest, we've got one more set. Are you up for it? <laughs> okay, here we go. We've got three, two, one. Down, drive it forward. Pay attention to that form. Listen to your body. Fifteen more seconds. We're gonna go to a static lunge. Three rounds on one side. Five, four, three, two, 
one and a rest. Okay, I'm putting my big bad boys down. Okay, so we're doing a static lunge. We're gonna have that right foot forward. Okay, we're just gonna come down and up, pressing through that front heel, keeping our trunk nice and upright the whole time. Again, push your body while listening to it, okay? So if it's easy, we're not probably pushing our body enough, but it shouldn't be painful or any pulling. Okay, so that's our difference. Okay, so let's grab those dumbbells. You can put them on your shoulders, you can hang them low, but let's rock this. Three, two, one, we're coming down. Pressing right on up. Slowing it down. Thinking about how strong we're gonna be, right? Oh, these are big muscles. They can handle a lot. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, two more sets just like that. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Down and up. Again, slowing it down and controlling that baby. If you don't have heavier weights, move a little bit quicker. Get a few more reps in. It's so good to throw heavier weights on. Us women don't tend to like it, but it's so healthy for our body. We're really building that strength up. Four, Three, two, one, and rest. Yes, one more set before we switch sides. Here we go, three, two, one, down, and up. Okay, so when we put on more muscle, we actually, we might weigh more on the scale because of muscle is more dense than fat but we'll lean down, or we may be the same when we exchange that, but we'll lean down because it's denser and smaller and so much healthier. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we got the left side to do next. Woo, oh yeah. Woo. Shake that out, move around, maybe shake those hips, feeling good, woo, oh yeah, moving and shaking, <laughs> feeling mobile, we got that left side, okay, so let's grab those weights, oh baby, here we go in three, two, one, down and up, so your body has to work more at rest with the more muscle you have. So you just naturally just sit there and burn more calories. Who doesn't love that, right? If that's not motivation enough to be stronger, <laughs> on top of that, you age better. A lot of the aging factors are based on how much lean muscle you have. So we definitely want that. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, are you ready for set two? Here we go, <laughs> three, two, one, we're going down and up. Oh yeah. Whew. Nice and controlled. Down and up. Okay, we'll have the most that weight on that left front leg, pushing up and down. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. We've got one more set. <laughs> Here we go. Roll those shoulders back. We got three, two, one, down and up. Nice and controlled. Coming down and up, keep that chest nice and upright. 15 more seconds. Driving through that front heel. Here we go. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so the next activity, we're gonna do a sumo deadlift. So we're gonna take that dumbbell and we're gonna come down 
and it's a little bit wider. Okay? So I'm gonna take that dumbbell and I'm gonna come down into that middle and drive it up. Okay, right here in the second, in the middle. Nice wide stance, hinging down, driving it forward. Okay? You ready to try this with me? I think I'm gonna do two smaller but heavier dumbbells. Here we go. Three, two, one. Down and drive. Hinging down and driving. Okay, drive those hips back, sit down, and then hinge forward and pop those hips. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, two more like that, really hinging down and then popping those hips, okay? Here we go. Three, two, one, and pop down and pop okay can you not see all the functional activities we do maybe you're picking up something off the floor maybe you're picking your kid up off the floor maybe you're grabbing something off the ground to load into the car super functional move we want to be strong and healthy in that and know how to move five four three two one and rest okay I always like to keep my hips mobile. Ooh, yeah. Okay, last one. Here we go. Three, two, one. Down and drive. Okay, we're going to do curtsy lunges next. Coming down. Driving forward. 15 more seconds of this. You're doing awesome. Hang in there. We have five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so this time we're doing curtsy lunges. Okay, so when you do a curtsy lunge, you step back, drive from that hip all the way up. Okay, so you're coming down. Trunk is nice and upright. Drive it all the way up. Again. Just kind of working on pushing that weight, but listening to your body while you do it, okay? Grab those weights. Let's go that right side first. Here we go. Okay, stepping back with that left in three, two, one step back, pop it open. Okay, when I come up, I'm just tapping. I'm not doing a lot. It's all on that right side. I'm not shifting that weight to that left side. I'm just tapping for balance and then coming back down. Trunk is nice and all engage that core. Okay, my glutes, my abs, my pelvic floor, right? All engaged. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Two more on that side. Okay, adjust the weight as you need to. Here we go. Three, two, one, come down, press forward. Nice and controlled. You got this, 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, I'm not gonna see because my sweat's driving down my eyes. Okay, one more set, here we go. Three. Two, one, here we go. Step down, tap forward. Nice and controlled, go as low as you can go. Okay, pop up and tap. Go right back down. And you guessed it, we're gonna even steven it. We gotta do that left side mix. <laughs> 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh yeah. Woo. Doesn't that feel good? Maybe not. <laughs> Should feel good as you strengthening and getting this, that lean muscle really strengthened up. Okay. 
Okay, so we've got the left side with that curtsy, keeping that trunk nice and upright. Stepping back, hopping, coming forward. Grab those weights, let's rock this. Here we go. We've got three, two, one. We're sitting down, coming up and tap. Nice and controlled. Again, we have to take these days where we slow it down and we work heavy. As heavy as we can do, okay? So important for our bone health. It's also giving you lots of more blood flow to those joints, okay? Getting that compression, very helpful. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, it's about functioning well. Looking good, but functioning well. Here we go, three, two, one. Part of functioning well means we feel good in our own skin. We do that by leaning down, being strong and fit, okay? But we also are very functional, so we're not injuring ourselves, especially in our daily activities. Okay, so that's what a lot of this focus is on too. We're doing good for our body. Gotta love it, right? 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, one more set like that. Okay, you got this. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, down, and up. Okay, next activity is gonna use an elevated surface. Okay, we're gonna do a hip thruster off today. So this is where we're gonna use a couch, a chair. Now, if you don't have that, that's okay. You can do it on the ground. Okay, you'll do kind of a tall bridge for it. You can do it with or without weight. I'm gonna do it with weight. But again, you gotta listen to your body. Okay, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, if you don't have an elevated surface, you're gonna lift right here, tall bridge, down and up, okay? With or without a weight. If you're with me, and you have an elevated surface, okay? We're gonna come off that edge. We're gonna drop down and squeeze at the top. With or without a dumbbell, that's up to you, okay? I'm gonna try my Mighty Monsters friend. <laughs> We're just becoming besties today, okay? So here we go. <laughs> We've got three, two, one. Come up, squeeze that glute, give me a nice neutral spine, come down. Lift up, squeeze that glute, give me a nice neutral spine, head down. Controlling it, right? It's not about speed, it's about control. You got this, come on. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Now, if you don't have weight, I'm gonna challenge you to do a staggered position this time and staggered the other way the other time. Here we go, three, two, one, or if you wanna do it with the dumbbell, you can. It's just gonna focus on a little bit on one, more, one side over the other. Coming down, squeezing at the top, nice and controlled, 15 more seconds. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest, okay? If you were staggered, staggered the other way. Okay, last set of this. Here we go. Three, two, one. We're going down and squeezing. Okay, so we are going to do a single leg squat. So we're gonna squat down to sit down on the bench and come back up. Now, if you don't have a bench, you can just squat a little bit staggered. That'll be fine too. We always can adjust to what you've got going. Come on, 10 more seconds. You can use one dumbbell or you can use two. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna have, you're gonna sit down, let me, let me show you on my left side. Down and up. Use this other leg for toe touch balance. Okay, again, you can use one dumbbell or two, okay? So we're gonna start with that right side, okay? So I'm gonna sit down on my right, and then I'm gonna come up on my right, okay? That's what we got going on. Are you ready? Oh, you got about 10 seconds to get into place. 
Okay, keep that trunk upright, drive through that um, heel, okay? Here we go, three, two, one. Stand up and back down, nice and controlled. Push through that right leg. All right, as little, as much weight as you can on that right side. You got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh man, my quad's so tight. My kneecap's not gliding as well. Great too. Always stretch out that. Whew, stretch out that quad. Here we go. Three, two, one. Much better. Oh yeah. Okay, that kneecap set, sits in that tendon of that quad. If you get sometimes that knee pain, okay, right underneath that kneecap. A lot of times it's a tight quad, not behaving correctly. Just restricting that movement. You got 10 more seconds. Nice and controlled. Pressing all the way up, then coming back down. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, one more. Here we go. Three, two, one. On the way up, all the way down. Nice and controlled. It's not about a lot of movement, it's about control in that movement. Okay, keep that core engaged. Really have that nice tight core as you drive up and back down. Five, four, Three, two, one, and rest. Oh yeah. Okay, we got the same thing on that left side. Woo! You're like me. You're pouring down the sweat. Okay, again, if you're on that single leg, you're just coming down and squatting on that one side. If not, you're with me. And again, okay, my core is engaged. It is a nice, solid position and I'm using that glute and that core to drive me forward. Yes, you can do it. Here we go, left side in three, two, one, up and back down. Nice and controlled, nice tall chest for me. Drive that forward, pop that baby up and come back down. You got this, come on. Stay strong and steady. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, my biggest issue right now is I'm sweating so much, I'm losing my grip. <laughs> Here we go, three, two, one, up, and back down. Nice and controlled. Nice, steady core. Really focus on that core. Engage it, then press it up. Engage it when you're coming down. Engage that thing and breathe. Let's go, 10 more seconds. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, this is it, one more set, okay? Here we go, three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna go down to the ground and we're gonna do bridge work next, okay? Oh yeah, down and up. Drive it forward, sit it back down. Stay steady and controlled the whole time. Ten more seconds. You're almost there. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so you don't need the elevated surface anymore. We're done with that. We're going down on the ground for some bridge work. Okay, so we're going down on the ground. We're gonna lift that, we're gonna have our feet towards us. We're gonna lift up and squeeze those glutes into that nice neutral position and then control it down. Wanna make it more challenging? Grab that heavy dumbbell to put on there or a smaller dumbbell, depending on where you're at in your journey, okay? Let's get in position, here we go. We've got three, two, one. Lift up and squeeze 
and then slow it down. Okay, do not let that back relax. Okay, hips gotta stay nice and engaged the entire time up and down. We like to slop it down and we risk injury because we're just flopping that core down. You gotta control it both directions. That's the point of this game. Control as we strengthen those glutes, and those hamstrings. It's a core activity. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, if you want to, you can try a staggered position on this. Okay, one side's back, one side's forward. Here we go. Three, two, one, up and down. Now you can stick with just what we're doing. This makes it a little more challenging because it's focused more on one side. So it's easy, it's hard to challenge then keep that core engaged as evenly when one leg is working a little bit more. Okay, so it's just a little extra focus. You got 10 more seconds and then we'll stagger the other side if you did the stagger or stay the same. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, we're switching sides. Okay, if you, if you staggered, if you didn't, you're okay. Here we go, three, two, one, lift up, squeeze, control that baby down. Lift up and squeeze, control that down. Oh yeah, come on, you got this. Hang in there. 15 more seconds. And then we're gonna come up for the next activity. We've got five, four, three, Two, one, and rest. Oh yeah, it's time for the heroic closer. Yes, we always like that because we know we're done. Okay, so here what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a nice good deadlift. Okay, we're gonna kind of have our legs closer together. Deadlift, we're gonna step and squat. Deadlift, step and squat, okay? That's what we got going. So grab a weight that you can do. I'm gonna do two. 25. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Deadlift. Step and squat. Deadlift. Step and squat. Deadlift. Oh yeah. Step and squat. Woo! Working that baby. Okay, as I squat and step. Nice and controlled. Gotta love these closers. Finishing strong, right? Working a little bit longer on this last one. We're finishing strong, okay? Nice and controlled. Driving it down, stop and squat. Okay, keep that core engaged. Hinging at that hip. And then step in. Okay, you're halfway there. One more minute left. Stay steady all the way to the end. Thirty seconds left. You can do it. Come on, hang in there. I'm right there with you. Okay, being challenged. Keep that form all the way to the end. 15 more seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, and rest. Yes. Oh, love that word, right? Okay, we're gonna go down on our knee. We're gonna drive that hip flexor forward. Lean on over, let's get that hip flexor really stretched out. Ooh, baby, yes. Okay, we're gonna take that leg, bring it back. Now this bothers you, you can put a pillow on your knee, or if you have range of motion issues, grab a towel. Okay, pull that leg back. Stretching out that quad. Press that other hip open. And let's switch sides. Okay, drive that hip forward. Okay, tuck that pelvis in and drive it forward. 
Leaning over just a little bit, get a little bit more stretch there. And then grab that foot, stretch out that quad. Nice work, okay? Right here, sitting. One leg up, hinge over, let's get that hamstring. If you can, reach over, feather hand right over here, so you're gonna get that low back in there and that hamstring. Oh, doesn't that feel good? Nice, good stretch. And then to the other side. Okay, same thing, hinge forward. And then nice, good little twist right here. Getting that low back on the other opposite side. And we're gonna come on up. We're gonna cross that foot over, walk it up and get a nice good hip opener, glute stretch. Oh, love this one. <laughs> Woo, feels so good. And then we're gonna come down. Let's switch sides. Walk that baby up. Now, if any of these are like, whoa, that's a little bit tight, come back to them later today, okay? Keep stretching out. You need that mobility. You need that flexibility. All of that needs to be happening to have injury free and just part of being a healthy person. Here we go. We got three, two, one. High five for rocking that today. I know it wasn't easy, but I'm so proud of you really pushing that strength. Even come back to this at a later date where you can up that weight and just really see that progress and make sure you're drinking that protein or getting that protein, eating it somehow, getting that to fuel your body, making sure you're drinking your water <laughs> to really flush out all those toxins we built today. And then make sure you have a great day. Welcome to the Heroic You Series 2.0. I am so glad you're here. If you're heroic enough to join me, this series will be 10 weeks long where we do five days a week of workouts together. This is designed to help us move better, feel better, and look better so that we can be strong, lean, fit, and healthy. So make sure you stay connected by hitting the notification bell and subscribing to the channel so you never miss what's coming up next. You can also grab in the link below the calendar so you know what each week has set up for you so you can be prepared. If you wanna stay connected, let's become friends. Join me on social media so you can hit find helpful tips and be in the know of what's happening next. If you're a woman over 40 and you're struggling like many of us do with our bodies not quite behaving the same way that we used to have it behave, then I can help you with that. I do personal coaching to help women lose weight, feel better in their own skin by dialing in nutrition, fitness, and healthy habits with sleep and stress management. So if you're someone like me who just says, I need a little extra help and encouragement, join me in my personal coaching program with a link below and let's get connected. Let's help all of us stay fit and healthy. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and connect with me. Have a great day.